Ann Joy. I work for Asia Monitor Resource Center, a labor rights NGO that is supporting independent and democratic labor organizations in Asia. My name is Janine Doherty. I'm from the GMB Union in the UK. I'm actually from Durham, the home of the Durham Miners Gala. Uh, my name is Pınar Yenigün. I'm working International Labour Organization Office for Turkey. Uh, my working field is on Syrian refugee, refugee workers. I am Michael Ayura Boya from Ghana. I belong to the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT. Hello, I am Simona Fabiani from CGL, Italy. And uh, I work in the environmental department. Hi, um, my name is Ovina George and I work with a regional labor rights NGO in Hong Kong called Asia Monitor Resource Center. My name is Christian and I'm from the Norwegian Union of Energy, Industry and Energy Workers. Hello, I am Maria Belen Sotelo from Argentina and I belong to the National Federation of University Teachers. People should join trade union in order to increase their bargaining power, to demand for their rights. People should join a union because those of us that are in a union are a team. We work together to make sure that we have better salaries, better working conditions, that no one is alone in their suffering or their, their difficulties at work. We also, we socialize together. Uh, we have to join trade unions and we have to organize for workers' rights, for women's rights, for children's rights, for migrants' rights and all human beings. It is very important for workers to join unions because as individual employees, it's very difficult to fight for our rights, to make demands and succeed. It is only when we are together and we solidarize with one another that we can withstand the pressures from our employers, we can fight for our rights from our employers, and we can together achieve what we want to achieve because we have common goals, we have common objectives, and we have common needs. And together we can be strong and fight. Um, so to illustrate the importance of having a union and coming together collectively, I'm going to give you an example of a trade union. Uh, we met, uh, you, actually the leader of a trade union, we met at uh, one of the trainings we were doing on occupational health and safety when I was doing a session on sexual harassment and she related um, what happened to her at her workplace and how her union was established. They worked in a factory which was producing footwear and the employer of the factory was a Chinese man and he was a horrible employer. He used to sexually harass the women workers at the factory uh, every day in the morning when they had to enter the factory. He would be standing at the gate and basically touching them, kissing them and doing all kinds of lousy things to them. And of course, they were scared to do anything about it because they were scared they were going to lose their jobs and nobody wanted to lose their jobs. So he would get away with a lot of really bad stuff. And of course, over a period of time, this person just got more and more obnoxious and horrible. And uh, the, these women at the beginning felt very isolated and uh, are powerless and they didn't know what to do and how to fight back. And eventually they all started talking to each other and realized that they need to do something about it and they need to come together rather than be individuals. And also the, the, the factory line managers and the heads of the departments were also hand in glove with his employer and they were also very instrumental in controlling these women. So they decided that the way they should try to get help is to go and speak to women's rights organizations and labor rights organizations and see what can they do and how can they address this problem which is affecting their day-to-day -day life, their psychological health and even their physical health. So they uh, by going into and speaking to groups, they realized that the way to handle the situation and come together collectively was to register themselves as a trade union, so they will be able to address the situation at their workplace. International solidarity to me means learning from other people on the problems 
and the, the shared problems that we each have, the fights that we all need to come together to fight, and that if there are unions that are fighting, fighting these problems in more than one country, then we can work together, we can learn from each other. I think uh, international solidarity is the best way to come together globally and to raise the voice of human beings. Getting to know that the needs of the people of this world are the same and that whatever affects one person in one part of the world also affects another person in another world. And so being in a global village, we need to collaborate. We need to feel for one another and that to, is together fighting that we can succeed in our demands, in our hopes and in our aspirations. This is uh, very important for me, but I think that uh, is not enough because um, uh, solidarity is uh, when we help something, but uh, I think that uh, we are all affected when we have a problem with the human rights, uh, war, uh, inequity, injustice. International solidarity basically means uh, bringing together struggles of workers from different parts of the world so that they are able to speak to each other understand the situation of workers in other parts of the world and build solidarity so that their struggles become, uh, they are able to identify with struggles of workers in other parts of the world and uh, come together in solidarity to support each other. International solidarity to me is to look across our own borders and using the strength in our organization to support the international crises. International solidarity is the heart of the trade union movement. It's uh, about knowing that we are not alone in our fights, that there are brothers and sisters around the world that share our concerns and that, and that they are supporting our fights. So it's the way that workers will build a better world, will build a more democratic and equal and more just world. In the present economic system, in which capital is global, in which capital is increasing globally and consolidating its power globally, it's consolidating its global production networks globally. In an economic system in which the workers are freely moving from border to border, I think it is very important to have international solidarity because it could be a way for different movements to come together in order to challenge this increasing global capital and um, increasing power uh, that uh, persists in this uh, global neoliberal capitalist economy.